Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be reviewing the new Neapolitan ice cream switch from Taxi. They are a delicious tactile switch that was designed to mimic the feel of the Zyko, which consists of a panda top, halo stem, and the Zelios V2 bottom housing. Big up to Taxi for making it affordable to experience what the Zyko may feel like. This switch has a 63.5 gram two-stage long air spring, a polycarbonate housing with a palm stem. Daily Clack claims that the springs do come slightly lube, but I don't really see or feel any. Not to worry, I'll be splashing some 105 on them anyway, so here's a quick slap test. Also, check out these pot plants I got from Ikea today. They were 6 bucks and I really think they complement my wooden desk. Here's what the Neapolitan switch sound like, unlubed. When I was taking out the keycaps, um, I noticed that these switches would come off on most of them. They're pretty wobbly and don't sit very securely into the plate, so that's just something to keep in mind.
Alrighty, this is my first experience with the two-stage spring, and I'll tell you what, they don't feel that light being a 63.5 gram spring. Keyboard Treehouse claimed that tactiles feel snappier with a lighter spring, but face an issue in the returning upstroke when the spring is too light. To fix this, a longer two-stage spring is preloaded so that it can overcome the return issue that normal springs would usually encounter. Mintilli recommends using a heavier spring for the most feedback and she uses a 78 gram spring but I would say these 63.5 are really comfortable to type on. I would suggest this as a middle ground for those who don't like a stronger tactile such as the Moyu or the T1s. It being a halo stem you can expect a round bump to be at the very top of the keystroke with a little bit of post travel. After lubing, some switches had a little bit of leaf ping still, but isn't very noticeable while typing. Lubing definitely made a big difference in smoothness and sound. It removed any excessive mushy and pingy sounds and also lowered the pitch. So the question is, is this a killer switch? My answer is, it's pretty killer.